praise be to God for his goodness, for his grace, for his love upon each one of our lives. Dear chosen children of God, I'm going to release the blessings from Georgia. Listen to the word of prayer and receive your miracles today. Father, we come to you through the blood of Jesus to thank you for this blessed time. Thank you, Father, for your love. We thank you, Jesus, for your grace upon each one of our lives. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for helping each one of us to know more about Jesus and to become like Christ. We thank you for Georgia. We thank you for President, Prime Minister, Government authorities and the people of Georgia. We bless them with the word of salvation. Thank you for all the countries, Muslims, Hindus, Indians and all the unbelievers. We bless them with the word of salvation. Thank you for Israel and Israelites. We bless them with the peace and with the salvation. Thank you for opening the spiritual eyes to know more about Jesus and to become like Christ. We love you, Jesus. This is your time as your children are listening to the word of God. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for opening our spiritual eyes, helping your children to know more about Jesus. We love you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear children of God, we are here to bless you with the word of God. Jesus loves you. Lord Jesus is coming again. Whoever maybe you are, wherever maybe you are, my dear children of God, believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus is coming again. Why did Jesus Christ come into this world first time? First time Lord Jesus came into this world to seek and to save the lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10 help us to know. Son of man came into this world to seek and to save the lost. Dear children of God, whoever maybe you are, wherever maybe you are, what you and I need to understand, Jesus is coming again. Why Lord Jesus is coming again into this world? Because Lord Jesus has a plan for every human being. Lord Jesus is coming again into this world to establish his kingdom on this planet earth. I do not know who you are, where you come from. I'm here in Georgia. Georgia is a beautiful place. And uh, this is the, one of the oldest uh, churches in Georgia. And we have a beautiful birds in Georgia. Dear children of God. We have a peacock here, we have ducks, and we have many beautiful birds here. We are children of God. Can you see? Yes. Very good. Why did Jesus come into this world first time? Lord Jesus came into this world first time to save man from eternal destruction from hell. Dear children of God. Lord Jesus loves you so much. Lord Jesus has a plan for you, for your family. Lord Jesus came into this world to reunite man with God the Father. Dear children of God, sin separated man from God. But thanks be to God for his eternal love that he has shown to us through his son, Jesus Christ. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, so he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Praise be to God. Jesus Christ loves you so much. Jesus died for you and I on the cross of Calvary. After three days, Lord Jesus rose again. Lord Jesus is coming again, my dear children of God. Whoever maybe you are, wherever maybe you are, believe in Jesus and receive your miracles. I'm here to pray for you. I'm here to bless you, dear children of God. Jesus has a plan for you and for your life. These are the beautiful ducks here, right here. Can you see? Praise God. Thanks be to God for this beautiful place. Wow. Can you see peacock? Yes. Wonderful. Lord is good. Dear children of God. This is a beautiful country. Georgia is a beautiful country and we are here in Georgia to bless you and to release our blessings from the throne of grace. My dear children of God, look at the birds, look at the peacocks. What you and I need to understand, Jesus Christ is coming again into this world very soon. Before he comes into this world, he wants to bless every human being. Irrespective of religion, my dear people of God, Lord Jesus has a plan for every one of you. Why Jesus is coming again into this world? Why Lord Jesus is coming again into this world? To establish his kingdom on this planet earth and 
to make the people of God to be with him and to release the blessings, to release the rewards for their hard work, for their sacrifice, for their love, for their dedication, for every person, whatever you have done for the kingdom of God, there is a reward. Praise be to God. Dear children of God, let us read the word of God to receive the blessings from the throne of grace. The book of Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 22. I'm reading verses 7 onwards. Behold, I'm coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. Dear children of God, Lord Jesus says in his word, he is coming again. And there's a reward for everyone. Anyone who believes in his word, everyone who believes in his word and accepts him as a Lord and as a personal savior. There will be a miracle. There will be a salvation into their lives. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, help us to know. Believe in Jesus in your heart. Repent for your sins. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and God in your heart. Confess through your mouth to receive the salvation. To receive the salvation, what you and I need to do. Number one, believe in Jesus. Jesus died for you and I on the cross. Number two, repent for the sins that you have committed from the time you were born into this world till now. Every sin. What is sin? Disobedience to the word of God. Every sin. Things of this world will not help you to receive your miracle. Things of this world will not help you to receive the eternal life. Money cannot buy the eternal life. Anyone who believes in Jesus shall receive the eternal life. John the Gospel, chapter 5, verse 24. Believe in Jesus and receive your eternal life. Praise be to God. Lord Jesus came into this world to reunite man with God the Father. Lord Jesus gives us the eternal life for every human being who believes in Jesus. Dear children of God, sin separated man from God. Thanks be to God for his beloved son Jesus who died on the cross, who shed his blood on the cross for every human being. First book of John, chapter 1, verse 7. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sins. Praise be to God. When you repent for your sins, Lord Jesus is just and faithful to forgive each one of our sins and to give us the life and the life in abundance. Jesus is coming again into this world. What you and I need to do, believe in Jesus, repent for your sins and return to Lord Jesus. Enjoy the blessings that Lord Jesus releases from the throne of grace. My dear children of God, let me read the word for you. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 8. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard, when I had heard, seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, do not do it. I am a fellow servant with you. And with your brothers, the prophets, and of all who keep the words of this book, worship God. Then he told me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, because the time is near. Let him who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let him who is vile continue to be vile. Let him who does right continue to do right. And let him who is holy continue to be holy. My dear children of God. Lord Jesus is coming again into this world. I'm here to bless you with the word of God. Jesus Christ has a plan for you and for your life, for your children. Whoever maybe you are, wherever maybe you are, do not worry about your problems that you are facing today. What you and I need to do, believe in Jesus to receive the miracles from the throne of grace. Jesus Christ is coming again. Before he comes into this world, he wants to release the blessings in each one of our lives. Dear children of God,
द बुक ऑफ रेवलेशन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू वर्स ट्वेल्व बिहोल्ड आई एम कमिंग सून my reward is with me and i will give to everyone according to what he has done i am the alpha and the omega the first and the last the beginning and the end blessed are those who wash their robes that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city praise be to god dear children of god lord jesus has a plan for you for your family what you and i need to do repent for your sins believe in jesus christ of nazareth lord jesus is coming again into this world to establish his kingdom and to establish god's throne on this planet earth jesus is the son of god jesus is god lord jesus knows the problems that you are facing today lord jesus knows what you need today lord jesus knows what you want in future today and tomorrow jesus is the alpha and the omega my dear people of god jesus christ of nazareth has a plan for every one of you let me release the blessings from the throne of grace the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 Wake up strengthen what remains and is about to die for I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my God remember therefore what you have received and heard obey it and repent but if you do not wake up I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you my dear children of God Lord Jesus says I know you he knows you and I he knows our name by heart he knows our end at the beginning of our life dear children of God what you and I need to do believe in Jesus and receive our miracles Lord Jesus is coming again into this world dear children of God Jesus loves you so much before he comes into this world let us do something for the church let us do something for the kingdom of god let us do something to win the souls for his soon coming when jesus comes into this world he is going to establish his kingdom on this planet earth so what you and i need to do believe in jesus receive your miracle repent for your sins and return to lord jesus christ i'm going to pray for you dear children of god father we thank you for your children we thank you for everyone who is listening to the word every pain every sickness every problem be broken in the name of jesus i set your people free in jesus name repeat this prayer i believe in my heart jesus died for me on the cross after 3 days he rose again say after me i am a sinner please forgive me i welcome you jesus into my heart as my lord as my personal savior i love you jesus in jesus name i pray amen when you pray like this you will see the miracles from the throne of grace when lord jesus comes back you and i will have an access to be with him to live with him forever thanks be to god for his grace thanks be to god for blessed country georgia i'm may the love of father grace of lord jesus and sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore shalom god bless you you're welcome to contact me for prayers and for blessings